Well, hello everyone. I hope you're doing good. Since Canada has conducted its historic draw this morning, the biggest ever express entry draw, almost everyone is asking this question. How is it actually possible that someone can have a CR's score range of 75? Just to give you a quick background of this question, this morning when Canada actually conducted its biggest express entry draw, inviting more than 27,000 CEC candidates, those candidates who had the lowest CRS score had the score of 75. So basically the cutoff score of this draw was just 75. Now when everyone is battling to get a score of 475 or cross that barrier of 470 to get the ITA, people are wondering how is it actually possible that someone can actually have a CRS score of 75. So yes, we will talk about this in this video. How is it actually possible that someone can have such a CR score? But I'm really happy for all of those people who actually got the ITA today. Uh, guys, if you haven't got the ITA, you must be getting it in the next 24 hours or so. I am really, really happy for all of you guys. Miracles do happen and you can say that today was kind of a miracle that actually happened. And I'm pretty sure you guys are having a ball out there. And just thinking about those people who had the score of 75 or 76 uh, or even above that, guys, you are the luckiest people in the world. Thank God for the miracle that has happened today. I'm pretty sure you wouldn't have thought about it uh, in the wildest of your dreams even that you would ever get the ITA without a PNP nomination. But yes, you've got it. So congratulations. I'm really, really happy for you guys. Alright, so let's discuss how is it actually possible for anyone to score such a low CR score. I never thought I'll make a video on this topic. Okay guys, I assume that most of you who are watching this video would be aware about the Express Entry Points system. Basically, we are awarded points based on our age, based on our education, the Canadian work experience, international work experience, based on uh, the language proficiency, how much we score in the language test like IELTS and all and several other factors as well. So in this video, we'll see what is the minimum eligibility requirement for a candidate who has who belongs to a Canadian experience class and then we'll talk further. So basically to be eligible for a CEC, the candidates must have work experience of one year in Canada. That's the Canadian work experience. I'm not going to get into too much details, but basically in total, it should be one year of Canadian work experience and your job category, job skills should be in NOC 0, A or B. If you talk about the education, then there's no requirement for education. Even if you haven't completed the high school, that's fine. You will still be eligible. However, you won't get more points for your education. If you talk about the language ability, so all those who are working in NOC code, zero or a would actually need clb7 and all of those who belong to nocb just need clb5 and clb5 basically means that you should have four bands in reading and five bands each in writing speaking and listening that's it if you are able to satisfy those requirements you are eligible for cec Okay, so we will actually calculate the score based on these basic criteria, and let's see what the score actually comes up to be. So guys, this is the CRS calculator. However, there can be numerous examples. I'll just show you two examples here. So with the minimum eligibility requirement, I'll just take in some inputs here. The marital status of the person is single. He is 44 years of age. His education is less than secondary or high school. Then talking about IELTS, he's got CLB5 in IELTS no other language test and then he has got one year Canadian experience and no international work experience and no PNP, no job offer and then similarly no brother or sister living in Canada and hence the score actually becomes just 70. You see just 70 is the score which is even less than 75 so yes this is possible if I make this age as 45 the score would be even lesser. The score now becomes just 64. Similarly, if I take the example of a married person with age of 45 or more and the spouse would be accompanying them to Canada, all the other details are same and well, just like the principal applicant, the spouse also hasn't got an education of high school, no Canadian work experience and 
no language test as well. Even then they would be eligible but their score would just be 59. So guys if 59 is possible, 75 is definitely possible. However, I really applaud the confidence of those people who had such a low score and still they created the express entry profile and I'm really happy for all of them. Alright guys, I really hope that it is now clear that anyone with such a low score can still be eligible for the express entry system. So that's an advice, that's a learning for everyone. I saw so many comments after this draw actually happened that Okay, I have this much experience. Can I actually create the express entry profile? Guys, if you would have actually created this profile before, today you would have got the ITA. I'm talking to all of those who have the Canadian work experience. I saw so many messages, so many comments and posts in the uh, YouTube and Dream Broad Canada Facebook group. Guys, I also saw so many posts, messages and comments from all of those people who belong to Federal Skilled Worker and they're working hard to score something around 460, 470, 480 if they can. They were really disappointed and obviously they were feel, they were feeling kind of cheated. If they're working hard to score 475, how is this actually fair that someone who's got a score of 75 gets the ITA? I will talk about this in detail in the next video. I will talk about the impact of this draw in the next video. Would the CRS cutoff score of the all program draw actually drop because of this or will it actually go up? We will talk about this in the next video. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please click the subscribe button. If you have any feedback, any comments, please put it down in the comment section below. And yes, do not forget to like and share this video as well. Thanks again for watching this video.